Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryamiga back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Today I will talk about everything you need to know about the new upcoming DLC for Minecraft Dungeons, The Howling Peaks. With the Hero Pass, we were already able to play two very awesome DLCs for Minecraft Dungeons. The first one being The Jungle Awakens, where we had to fight a very large tree boss on the overgrown temple level, and of course saw many pandas. A little bit later, we also got our hands on the Creeping Winter DLC, and this is actually my favorite of the two. We saw some very awesome new mobs like the Chillager, but at the same time, the environment looked very cool. But very soon, we will also travel to very steep mountain peaks, guys, with the Howling Peaks DLC. Today, I will talk about every single thing you need to know from release date to new mobs, new weapons, new armor, etc, etc. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right to it. Alright, so guys, let's first talk about the release date. When can we expect this DLC to drop? The Howling Peaks is currently scheduled to release somewhere in December 2020. And if we look at the release dates of the previous two DLCs, both the Creeping Winter and Jungle Awakens DLC, we can expect it to pop up pretty early in the month, which is in my opinion pretty cool because at the same time, most of you guys will have some free time later this month with Christmas and with New Year. So it would be awesome to play this new DLC. And just like with the previous two DLCs, guys, you can expect this one to pop up with three levels as well. Three new missions, which two of them are regular ones and then also a secret mission. But um, we're going to start off with the introduction level, which is the Windswept Peaks. This one introduces the first wind mechanic and also uh, shows you the first new mobs like the Mountain Illager, Windcaller and Ravager. I'm going to showcase those guys a little bit later into the video, but this is already looking like a very awesome level guys. This brings us to very steep high mountain peaks and if we look at some other footage we can tell that there is some very beautiful white mixed with golden architecture and this probably leads us to the Gale Sanctum. Gale Sanctum sounds like something that's inside so it should be an interior level right? If we look at these shots you can tell that this should be the Gale Sanctum. We have those very awesome new wind puzzles and at the same time we see some squall golems walking around which are actually activated by the wind as well. I'm going to cover them a little bit more a little bit later on once again but um, this is definitely looking like a gorgeous level design guys. Also this white golden architecture but um, there is probably so much more waiting for us which we will be able to see in December 2020. And then last but not least we also have the final level the Colossal Ramparts. I've played many games guys, many games with ramparts and I can tell that this one is definitely it. Unfortunately we only found one scene where you can see this particular level because you can tell that the texture pack is entirely different in comparison with the Gale Sanctum and the Windswept Peaks. So the texture pack is a little bit darker, definitely looks like a boss level so this is also the place where you can expect the Tempest Golem to pop up which is the monstrosity form of the squall golems. On the mainland you have the redstone golem and then the redstone monstrosity. Well on the Howling Peaks DLC guys we will have the squall golem and then the tempest golem. So yeah this also brings us to the new hostile mobs which is coming up next. First of all we have the mountain illagers. These are pretty much illagers but they wear a pickaxe instead of a regular axe. Also a different outfit with more color variations, so um, I think these guys will be pretty awesome to fight against. Then we have the wind color. This is also an illager, but this one summons tornadoes to make players take fall damage. And I think this is also a very awesome new type of mob. So with the Creeping Winter DLC, we saw the Chillagers. They were throwing ice blocks on their faces and those were super annoying in my opinion, but at the same time, a very big challenge. Unfortunately, they didn't make it to the regular Minecraft with the Minecraft live voting, but um, the Wind Color is going to be another very awesome caster type of hostile mob for Minecraft Dungeons. In this little fragment, you can even see that when it flies away, it sets this llama in fire. Did you guys see that as well? I definitely tried to focus as much as possible on all the details which I was able to find on this video which we saw yesterday on the Minecraft official Twitter account, but seriously there are some very nice gems hidden into this video. Next up we have the Ravager and if you already played Minecraft, yeah well, it is a very strong hostile mob in Minecraft that will ram you and deal a lot of damage. 
According to the Minecraft wiki, this one will deal the same amount of damage as the redstone golems, but will have a little bit lower HP. So maybe it will act a little bit the same like a leap leaf, because this one also charges, doesn't have that much HP, but is very annoying to fight against, but uh, of course a very nice challenge. Then we have the Squall Golem, and this is a faster variant of the Redstone Golem, activated when the wind hits its turbines pretty much. I think it's a shame that they didn't call these guys Clockwork Golems, because I think that would have been the perfect name for them. Clockwork would have sounded so epic, but at the same time, Squall Golem is fine. I think it would be very awesome if we could actually get our hands on our own Squall Golems, for example with those Golem kits which we also saw dropping as artifacts on the mainland. Then it should just be a Squall Golem kit pretty much and yeah, these guys run very fast, I think they would be a very nice addition to your loadout. And then guys, we also have the final boss for the Howling Pigs DLC which is gonna be the Tempest Golem. This is the leader of the Squall Golems. He's gonna have a very big sword, just like you can see on the splash art. And on the Minecraft Gamepedia, they are also suggesting that he's gonna summon winds in his combat. So he will probably fight with his melee attacks with a very large sword, but then he might be able to knock you into different things with his wind as well. In size, I think he will be pretty much similar like the Redstone Monstrosity or the Mushroom Monstrosity, so he will take up a very large portion of your screen. You can already tell by the art right here that this guy is gonna be a very awesome boss to fight against once again, so oh man, am I looking forward to this one. Of course, with every DLC, we can also expect some new passive mobs to pop up. The first one being the Wooly Cow. I think this one looks very awesome. I definitely love the art on this one. It's a reskin of the regular cow, but he is warm and wooly, guys. He's prepared for these steep winter peaks. He looks really epic. I think they should definitely add him to the regular Minecraft, but um, I think all we can expect from this guy is um, yeah, that he's gonna drop some meat. Then we also have the Llama, and this one is just like the Wooly Cow, probably going to do nothing. Just wander around, and when you kill them, they might have a chance to drop some meat. Uh, just like all the other passive mobs, the pandas, the cow, the sheep, etc, etc. And then we are also getting a new neutral mob, so that means that this one will interact a little bit with us when we interact with it, which is gonna be the goat. He lives on the mountaintops and will of course retaliate and attack if they are provoked by the player, just like the polar bear which we saw on the Creeping Winter DLC. So a neutral mob is pretty cool, it doesn't do anything too fancy, but if you annoy them, well, they might make it a very difficult time for you. New loot guys, oh yes, oh, I've been waiting for this one. And the cool thing is we're actually gonna get more than we got on the previous DLCs. So let's start off with the weapons. On the Jungle Awakens DLC, we saw the Whip and the Fine Whip, and on the Creeping Winter DLC, we saw the Frostbow and then also the Winter's Touch. But right now, if you look at this little fragment, you can see a curled blade, then also a curled bow. But in the splash art, you can see that the unique Farines are hidden in there. Or, well, that is what I think. It is pretty much 99% accurate that this is gonna be the unique Farines of them. So the curled blade will probably be. A little bit similar like a regular sword maybe it will have a very nice effect we haven't seen any of those enchantments but um, then we also have a curl bow i think they fit in very nicely to this new howling peaks dlc next up armor and oh boy am i excited about this as well because we're not getting one piece of armor but actually two including two unique for Ryan. so in total also four new armor pieces pretty much if we look at all the information which we have right now. First off, we have the climbing gear and they also talked a little bit about this one on the Minecraft Diaries video. So if you want to check it out, definitely make sure you do. But um, this is a very interesting type of armor with some artifact cooldown reduction and then at the same time, minus 75% knockback. So that means when you get knocked back by anything, including the wind, which is summoned by those uh, wind colors, this will be reduced by 75%, so you won't take as much fall damage, which you can see right here. Also, they hit one new enchantment into this little fragment, guys. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see three arrows pointing to the right. I think this might have to do something with knockback or wind direction or whatsoever. Maybe it can be a roll speed or 
I don't know guys, but um, definitely make sure to leave in the comments down below what you think about this new enchantment. I think it's very nice that we can actually see even more enchantments popping up because this will make the game so much more diverse. The unique variant of the climbing gear is the mountain goat armor and man oh man the art on this one is on point as well. I think they did a very awesome job on the design for this mountain goat armor. It will probably also have the minus 25% artifact cooldown reduction and then also the minus knockback and then as third enchantment I don't know maybe it can be a roll or jump further or what could also be very awesome is that the roll becomes a charge attack that deals damage to enemies and also knocks them back a little bit. Just like you can expect with a regular goat, right? On number 3 we have the Emerald Armor. I think this one isn't very special. The looks are pretty cool though. May spawn an Emerald. I'm not exactly sure what they want to mean with this. But it definitely sounds a little bit like the Prospector enchantment which you can currently find on weapons. So for example a Diamond Pickaxe with Triple Prospector combined with the Emerald Armor. I think that's gonna be really nice. But we have no clue what's it gonna be for the unique variant, which is gonna be, I don't know, the Super Emerald Armor. You can see it on the splash art right here. It will probably have the same enchantment, but since we already see this orange may spawn an emerald enchantment, I think the third one will be a common enchantment, just like we can see on the Mystery Armor. So maybe it will be something entirely random, maybe something tanky, because this armor definitely makes you look a little bit tankier. But in general, yeah, I think this armor will definitely focus a little bit on the farming emeralds so maybe we will be able to heal ourselves with emeralds which you can also see in some of those daily trial challenges so definitely make sure guys to farm for the diamond pickaxe triple prospector i think that's gonna be really neat then we also have some new artifacts guys and i am super excited about this the first and I think also the coolest new artifact which we have, well, we didn't see any information about the second one, only the image which you can see right here. Um, the wind tome will make enemies disappear around you and will give souls in return. So what you're pretty much doing is press the delete button, guys. This new wind tome will be a delete button pretty much. It will suck away all the mobs around you. It will vacuum clean them away just like a Dyson and then you will get souls in return. You can already tell that this will be very awesome in combination with Anima Conduit because with a speedrun build you will be able to just run through the map and if you get stuck a little bit because of the enemy mobs you're just gonna spam that wind tome destroy all the mobs around you and they will also heal you with the anima conduit because you will gather those souls so i think that would be very nice to do then the magic powder of some sort or that is what it's currently called on the minecraft gamepedia page this what it does, I have no idea, but maybe this is actually a little summoning pouch, just like I was talking about when I was uh, showcasing the Squall Golem. So maybe this little pouch will summon a Squall Golem to fight along your side, and um, yeah, that would be something very awesome to see, but at the same time, it could be anything else as well. So guys, like always, leave it in the comments down below what you think this little magic pouch will do. And yes, what can a new DLC be without a new DLC skin? This brings us to the Mongol clothing, which I saw on the splash art. I think this is going to be the new skin that we can expect for this DLC. And of course, they should follow more of them. But um, if we look at this one, it definitely doesn't give you any special armorish looks, which could make up for a piece of armor. I think it's just a regular skin that we can expect for the Holy Peaks DLC to pop up. For all the ladies out there, this skin will definitely be awesome to play with, but um, I will stick with my very own custom skin, which I made with some modding. If you want to do it yourself as well, definitely make sure to check out the video in the top right of the screen. In this photo editing tutorial, I will teach you some basics on how to create your very own skin for Minecraft and also get it to Minecraft Dungeons. This not just for regular skins, but also for a cape skin. So if you want to have a very awesome one, just check out the video in the top right of the screen. So yeah guys, that is pretty much all the information that we currently have about the Howling Peaks DLC. I am super excited about this one. It's only a couple months away, so guys, definitely make sure to prepare for it. I think you should, like always, farm for a lot of emeralds. Maybe we're gonna have some more villagers in our village. And um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have some new enchantments, new levels, new mobs, new weapons, armor, artifacts, skins. Name it guys, there is so much new stuff coming up and also with the Apocalypse Plus, I think this will be definitely awesome to play. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching once more. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe, man. There is so much more Minecraft and Minecraft dungeons coming your way. Also, we have a Discord chat, guys, so definitely make sure to check it out. We have almost 1,000 members right now, and this is the perfect place to team up with other people. With a crossplay, it will be even better to team up with each other. And um, yeah, we're talking about Minecraft, the Minecraft server, which I already have released, and then also a lot of other stuff right there. So, um, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Right now, it is 4am out. Take care.